Let's review all the bags that I carried in September, plus a reveal and a viral item that I have that I want to share with you, so stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me in the Babe Cave today. And this is my uh, monthly recap of bags that I've carried for the whole month and a review, a little review on each of them. And I skipped last month because it was just a hectic time, but I am doing it this month, so let's just begin. So the first one is one that you all voted on with my Dooney guitar strap that I have and I did mention this is a long strap but it did work out fine with this bag and I didn't hassle with taking these off I just tucked them in threw in some SLGs and went out the door this is the red Dooney and Burke Essex bag I believe it's the medium size and I can't say enough about it it's comfortable it's easy there's the interior I always love a good crossbody no matter what. I mean, a lot of times I end up grabbing either a shoulder strap or a crossbody. And when I'm shopping, I like to, to be hands free. So this is the first bag I carried because you all voted on it and I have no cons on this bag. The next bag, I'm still having all of these dressed up so you can see how I carried them, uh, is my very old vintage I believe this is 2002. I don't know. I believe it's vintage over 20 years. But anyway, I put the poof ball and this little charm on it. I didn't do too much crazy stuff. I will link my uh, video down below of this, what I put inside of it. It's top handle only. We all know what the Speedy 30 looks like. And mine's just a vintage style and it's great canvas material. I actually enjoyed carrying this because I am so tempted by that Coach Large Rowan. So tempted. <laughs> Especially the leather version. I don't understand why the leather version and the canvas version are the same price. Do you understand that? I don't know. Leave, leave it down below if you think it's weird that they're both the same price. But anyway, Back to this, amazing carry. Don't put too much stuff in a top handle bag, especially a big speedy 30 like this. And just enjoy your bags. So that's the next one. The next one is not very fall because it wasn't fall and it was like 90 degrees here. I went to the doctor's office, several appointments and there is my reveal. One of my reveals is this coach chain charm. It looks so cute with this. Uh, this is the coach city tote in pink lemonade. Love it. And I wanted to carry it before summer ended. So I barely made it. And I always tell you all about the tracker. I'll link that down below because this tracker lets you know what you have carried and what you haven't carried. And it's a also a cost per wear app as well. So you can kind of, you know, see the breakdown of the cost of the wares that you have carried your bags. So anyway, I love this chain, except for, I'm going to tell you, they, they, I bought this chain. It was $59. When I went back to look at the chain again, it was $89. I'm like, Wow, that's quite a quite a jump. And so I'm glad I got it at the $59. So uh, now I believe there's just the silver available and it's $89. I don't know what Coach is doing. If they keep raising the prices of the retail so much, they're going to end up raising the Coach outlet pieces far beyond what people can afford. So I, I feel like they're trying to even out the retail and outlet and... That's just not, I don't think that's a good plan. But anyway, 
I will stop about that. I love the handle drop. You know the capacity of these city totes are just the same size as the Louis Vuitton MM. It's a great bag, a great carry, holds everything. I just don't fill up totes anymore. I don't feel the need to fill up my bag. So this is a great carry. I love the charm with it that I got. It's probably gonna stay on this bag. <laughs> so this is the third one I carry. My husband's gift to me in last year. And this is the Louis Vuitton Tavoli PM. And they also have a bigger size, I believe. I'm not sure if they have a smaller size than this one, but it's the PM size. I just kept all the drapage on there. I thought it looked good with the pleating. When you can get a Louis Vuitton bag with feet on it, like I consider this very well made, good quality with all of the details on this bag, with the the little charm. So cute, I love this bag. It is in beautiful condition. Can't say enough other than it's just top handle. So if you don't like top handles, this is not the bag for you. So that is my next one I carried. The next one I was waiting for fall temperatures <laughs> and I waited quite a while um, because I wanted to bring out my vintage Dooney and Burke carrier shoulder bag. I don't know why it's called the shoulder bag because it's a crossbody strap. Um, but anyway, it's beautiful browns and taupe color, gold hardware. It's basically the a rectangle shape and Honestly, the shape and the size of this bag is my ultimate favorite size. Has the top handle, has the crossbody. I can't say enough about these carrier shoulder bags. If you can grab one, I would. And also, bonus back pocket. I would highly recommend you look at these on the secondhand market. You can get them in pretty good shape for a decent price. I mean, mine has a little tarnish and stuff, but I love this bag. It is never leaving my collection. I've had it for years now and it's beautiful and I have no cons about this carry. Not going to spend a lot of time on the next one because, well, you saw it. Because <laughs> I was sick when I got this, so I only got to carry it one time and I haven't brought it out again. But I wanted to show you it dressed up with my rainbow chain and my horse. It's perfect for the fall festivals. It's water repellent. I'll link the video down below of this bag. I won't go into it anymore, but excellent Uniqlo. This is called the Uniqlo Round Quilted Bag. Again, it, it can be crossbody or shoulder bag. So I'll just give you a close up of the material here has a shine to it super cute super fall isn't it so then I decided I want to move into my quince bag and it is that beautiful brown woven all the way around chocolate colored no feet on the bottom these uh you can undo this knot and this knot and it can be a clutch but just be careful. I you have to tighten these up pretty good because I wouldn't want this to slide off your off your shoulder or anything. But I wear it crossbody and I haven't had any issues. I had to cinch it up a little more um, based on my height, but it's I'm currently in it and there it is. It's got a wide mouth, magnetic closure. Love it. Very Bottega vibes for a very affordable price. I am affiliated with uh, with Quince, so my link is always down below, and I believe this is still on their website. Go get you one. It the leather is nice, the quality is amazing. If you haven't tried Quince, I suggest trying it. And you don't have to use my link. Just if you buy one bag, you're gonna be like, oh, their leather is good. So anyway, there's a lot of dupes on there too. <laughs> So that is the bag I'm currently in and going to be in until we get to October. And I wanted to show you one more thing. My daughter finally got a Happy Meal from McDonald's the other day. 
and she just was so excited and so I'm going to show you what she got. You've all seen the Croc McDonald's uh, little Crocs. Comes in a cute little packaging. It was uh, even in tissue paper wrapped up and here are the stickers that come with the it's upside down. <laughs> Here's the stickers that come with the shoe. Croc, I should say. So this, she has not decorated it yet. But here it is. It is that cute. And the little key ring is tucked in the back. Where you can attach it to your, to your bag. So adorable. I think she's going to probably dress it up and put stickers on it and put it on her backpack but I see why you know everyone's dying over these things they are cute and the, the little strap just like a regular croc can go back or forth <laughs> so anyway that's my daughter's reveal really but anyway I love all of these bags you know if you're not a top handle person and you need the the strap then you probably won't like my Louis Vuitton Tivoli or the Speedy. So the other ones are very versatile, very comfortable, and I don't really have any complaints. Let me know what you think of my bags and how I decorated some of them. Did you like that? I'm getting into charms again. <laughs> I don't want to get into a lot of charms. So I'm trying not to buy a, an awful big amount, but I do like dressing up my bags. It's like being a kid again I don't know I used to have I used to collect all those charms that were on plastic with roller skates and old ro rotary phone little charms and I had every charm that you could imagine so I, I really I really do like dressing up my purses with one or two charms I'm not a crazy charm lady <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, thank you for coming along and watching my recap of September and I will try and do October. We'll see. You never know. I thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribe to my channel. It's free. And if you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm get my channel out there. Lately, I think views have been down, or at least for me. Um, I think after the whole invalid traffic on my channel, I don't know what was happening exactly, but don't change the title of your video. I think that also messes with the algorithm, so don't do it. Just l make sure you got it the first time and leave it alone. <laughs> That's what I, my advice. I, I hope that fixes my problem of the invalid traffic. I'll keep you updated further but anyway hit the bell so you won't miss my future videos that's another thing that will alert you of all my videos and I drop videos every three days sometimes four but typically every three days so you can count on me <laughs> and thank you for watching again and uh, until next video I'll talk to you soon bye